La Xun Pei's sang about the power of God with a voice that could lift an angelic note or drop to a sinner's grow. She declared God's victory on the revival circuit in the 1970s, on the Billboard charts in the 1990s, and on TikTok in the 2020s. She sang about a God revealed in difficult times or austerity, even as she went through her own unbearable sufferings. La Xun had a lengthy history of recognition in the field. With her knighting real voice and gospel song, the singer had been able to win people over. Many months gave have gone since it was made public that she had also lost her mother and sister. According to Eleven Alive, the musician passed away from organ failure after receiving kidney diagnosis for five years. Her sister, Lydia Pace, verified that she passed away. After she and her siblings founded the anointed Pace Sisters Band, La Xun gained notoriety. The Grammy-nominated trio, according to the publication, was made up of nine sisters. Together, they performed for the church and neighborhood groups. Their talent was soon discovered, and they rose to prominence as a gospel ensemble. I know I've been changed. Act like you know, and other songs by them have become hits. La Xun was developing her solo career while concurrently working with the ensemble. In fact, users of TikTok were so captivated by her song. Act like you know that they quickly turn a sample from it into a new craze. La Xun's estimated net worth is $1.5 million, according to the publication. The vocalist has won numerous accolades for her work. She was also admitted into the Christian Music Hall of Fame in 2007 to add to this. For my good, but for his glory, is the title of the singer's autobiography. La Xun described her life and addressed some of her personal issues, including the death of her daughter from a heart attack. After the news of her death was confirmed, several fans took to social media to express their sadness. La Xun Pace sang about the power of God with a voice that could lift an angelic note or drop to a singer's grove. She declared God's victory on the revival circuit in the 1970s, on the Billboard charts in the 1990s, and on TikTok in the 2020s. She sang about a God revealed in difficult times, austerity, even as she went through her own unbearable sufferings.